Hi, this is iTunes menu navigation. And to get started on the left hand side here, this is your main navigation for iTunes. Whatever you have selected over here is going to change what shows up in the white area here along with some of the buttons around it. So if you have music selected, this is going to show you all of the CDs you've imported and any music or music videos you've downloaded from the iTunes store. Same thing with movies, anything you've imported or downloaded and along with TV shows. Anything you've downloaded from the iTunes store will show up here for TV shows. Podcasts would be anything that you subscribe to through the iTunes store. They're free most of the time and they'll show up here and they can be updated as they come in without you having to do any work. And finally the last one is radio and it's organized by genre here and once you open up one of those it'll have the radio station name and the bitrate, that's the quality of the radio station, along with a brief description of it. The next area is the store, and iTunes Store will bring you right to the iTunes Store homepage. And there's a lot of stuff on here, new releases, staff picks, things that they think you'd like based on your music and previous purchases, but probably the easiest way to get started with this would be to go up to search iTunes Store, and enter an artist, album, or song name, and hit enter, and it'll bring up the results in the main window. After you've purchased things from iTunes, if you select this option, it'll show you all the things you've purchased. And once you start downloading things from iTunes, there'll be another option here called Download, and you can go to that, and it'll show your, you your active downloads as they come in. Next, under Devices, this will show you any iPods hooked up to your computer or compact discs that are in your computer right now. And finally, playlists. This will show you the list of all the playlists you've created, which are just groups of songs by genre or by mood or however you want to set them up. Next, I'll show you some options on how to change how iTunes looks. If you go up to View and Show Browser, this will open a browser window where you can select different genres and then break it down by artist and then break it down even further by album and it'll show you which album you have selected right down here. And you can go right back up to view hide browser to get rid of that. The next one is artwork. That's right under view again and show artwork. And this brings up a window here and right now it says selected item so if I were to select an item it'll show the artwork there Otherwise, you can click this button to change it to now playing. And I don't have anything playing, so nothing's showing up there. And you can go right back up to view, hide artwork to get rid of that. And the last one would be the mini store. Again, under view, show mini store. This will bring up a small version of the iTunes store that will stay on the interface at all times. And just show you um, some selections based on your music again that you've downloaded and that you have in your library. And you can turn that off by doing the same thing under View, Hide Mini Store. So up on the top here, these are your main song navigation buttons, back and forward, play and pause, and the volume control. And these can all be found under controls as well. Play, the volume, mute, This is your main window. It shows you what song is playing, some information on the song. If you're importing music, it'll show up there. If you're downloading music, it'll show up there. Same with if you're updating an iPod. It'll show the information up there. These are how you can change how iTunes shows your music. This first one is List View, which just shows all of your music in a list. The next one is Album View which changes it to an album. And the last one is the cover flow, where you can quickly fly through all of your music by seeing their covers and select them that way. And you can also get to these under view, list view, album view, and cover flow view. And the last one is search, and you can search your iTunes library by typing something in here and it'll narrow it down. And if you want to get more refined with your search, you can select by artist, album, composer, song, or all. 
on the bottom, this plus sign is to add a playlist. And you can click that and it'll start a new one and you can type in a name and then just drag any of your music right into it. Song by song or album or with a selection that you make. This next button is shuffle. If you click on that once it'll turn shuffle on and click on it again it'll turn shuffle off and that'll just randomize the songs being played that you have currently selected. And you can also get to this by going to controls shuffle. The next button down here is repeat. It, right now it's off. If you click on it once it'll repeat whatever playlist you're playing right now and if you click on it again it'll repeat the single song that you're playing and click on it again to turn it off. And you can also find this under controls as well. Repeat off, all, and one. The next button down here is show or hide album artwork. Just like before, the shortcut is up under view, hide artwork. This down here shows how many songs you have, how many songs you have in terms of days and how much storage capacity all of your music is taking up. In the corner here, this button is to browse and this can also be turned on and off up here. And the last button is eject. Right now it's eject CD. And the other eject buttons for the CD and iPod can be found over here. Now if you have iPod selected, this button changes to eject iPod. And this goes for the same with the browse button and search buttons as well. If you're in the iTunes store and you hit the browse button, you can browse the iTunes store and use the search to search the iTunes store. If you have your music selected, this button lets you browse your music and you can search your music with the search tool. So there's a lot of different things you can do with iTunes, and if you have any questions about anything, I'd suggest just keeping your mouse hovered over something, and it'll give you a summary of what that button or option will do. Thank you.